they're reflecting so they don't have to come off hi hello 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 right guys um it's eight o'clock so i am here sorry i'm having a few little I don't want to say technical issues, but this thing on my ring light's gone all wonky and it what? Keeps falling down. Oh, sorry, let me just see if I can tighten it up because I don't want that to keep um keep falling down. Sorry guys, just bear with me because otherwise I'm just gonna take you off here and I'm just gonna stand you on something. Right, that's all one case. So just actually, you know, this is like working on the hot right. I'm gonna stand you on a bottle of all purpose cleaner instead. That is we're sensory consultants, right? We can make it work because that is just going to keep falling down and keep bugging me. Right, okay. Is that going to work? I don't know. Let me put you on a box. Sorry. Oh, my God. This is really not a good start, is it? I'll just give it a minute while um while people jump on. You need to be higher than that. Right, let me... See? If I can do this business, anyone can do this business. Right, here we go. Let's try again. I'm going to stand you on a box, on a bottle of all-purpose cleaner, there we go. We're there. Right. Okay. We've got you. Right. Um, okay, guys. So um, I am here this evening to talk to you. Oh, hang on. I haven't got any more tingles, have I? I can't see comments either. And I'm guessing somebody might have said hello by now. So I'm going to bring you up on my laptop because for some reason I can't see comments on my phone when I go live. So just bear with and I will log on on here and then hopefully I can see some comments because I can't see comments on my phone for some reason at the moment. Oh, there we go. I can see people now. Right, okay. That was a good start, wasn't it? My holder thing was all one key and then I couldn't see any comments, but um, I'm in the right group. Okay, right. I can see people are coming on, but I can't see any comments. So that actually... It's not working. That might not be a bad thing because I can be a little bit of a magpie. Oh, Katrina, how funny. No, they're all coming through now. They're starting to work. Okay. I couldn't see them all. Hey, lovely. Hey, Holly. Hi, Lindsay. Right. I can see some on there. Cool. Okay. I can see them on there now. Right. I'll leave them on there. Right. Okay. I'll stop rambling and I will get started. So, good evening. Um, Welcome to the R2 what is it called? Here we go. Enlighten, Empower, Elevate Training Group. Um, I am here this evening to talk to you about mindset and personal development and all the things um, associated with that. Um, but I'll put that down now because I can see comments now. Um, but so first of all, I will introduce myself. So um, my name is Laura Sawkins. I am a superstar director. Um, I have been with Sensi for seven years, just gone. So it was seven years this month, which is absolutely bonkers. Actually, I don't know if it's working, so I'm going to bring you back up. Um, I've been with Sensi for... Right, okay. Uh, for seven years this month, and it has been an absolute roller coaster journey. Um, there's not enough words to articulate what Sensi means to me, although I'm going to try and try and articulate some of that this evening. Um, I am Superstar Director for the amazing group Glitter Spa Co, who some of them are on here this evening, um, and I literally love um, my team and the business and our wider community. And just, like I said, just everything about Sensi and all the people. But I am here tonight to talk to you about mindset. Now, there's a couple of little um, side notes. Is it caveat? I don't even know if that's the right word. If it's wrong, I apologise. Um, there's a couple of things I just want to add, first of all, before I start this evening. Because... Um, when Georgie set this up and she put the chat together and she was like, right, you know, this person do this, this person do this, this person do this. Um, she was like, right, Laura, you going to talk about mindset, yeah? And I was like, yeah, okay. And any of you that have been around for a while um, will know that, like, this is my love language, like, my jam. It is, like, literally, I could talk, I could 
talk about mindset and personal growth and personal development like all day long till the cows come home. But, and there's a very big but. When Georgie asked me this time, and this is one of the things I just want to add, I 100% am going to cry at some point tonight. Like one, because I'm an emotional person anyway, but two, because we as a family are going through some like super challenging stuff in our life at the moment. So when when Georgie said like, oh, can you turn on mindset? I was like, yeah, 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 of course. And then actually a couple of weeks ago, I had a real, um, I don't wanna say wobble, but I actually was like, I don't know if I can do this right now. I don't know if I'm the right person to do this right now. Um, because, and I mean this, Basically, the only way this is going to work tonight and the only way that I'm going to be able to deliver what I want to deliver to you guys with the intention that it's meant is if I am totally vulnerable and honest and open and I'm not, this isn't going to be a Laura's life story, <laughs> but if I don't explain a little bit about why this is actually a really good time for me to train on mindset, then it's not going to make any sense to you. So I just need to put a little caveat that I am 100, I can already feel myself going, I am 100% going to cry at some point tonight just because I cry most days at the moment because we have got some challenging shit going on in our life. But that's why it's absolutely the right time to do this right now. Because if it wasn't for my mindset and for the skills that I've learned since becoming a Sensi consultant and for all the personal development I've done in the last 10 years because yes I've been with Sensi for seven years but I've been in the industry for 10 years I was with another company first um and I guess my personal development journey started like 10 years ago so if it wasn't for all the skills all the tools in my toolbox all the things that if I'm honest all the things that I've trained on Lots and lots and lots and lots of times. I've done a mindset. I today, when I when I made my notes for this, I listened back to a mindset training I did a year ago, and I'm going to share some of the same stuff. And there's other stuff I'm going to share tonight, but I'm going to share some of the same stuff. But wow, did they hit different when I listened to them today again? All the things I've shared are so real and true and honest. But it, they say that like life's a journey, right? And you learn a lot as you go through life. If you don't experience stuff, how do you learn from it? All the tools that I have learned over the last 10 years have, have never come into play like stronger than they have in the last year and actually in life and in business. So actually it's the perfect time for me to come and share a mindset training with you because honestly your mindset is going to make or break you. Like that is just the in the most simplistic form that I can make it. It doesn't mean that you know, people uh, just have a bulletproof mindset and they don't go through hard stuff. It doesn't mean that they're not exempt from really difficult challenges in their life. It doesn't mean they're not exempt from certain feelings. But it means that if you have worked on yourself and on your mindset, it gives you literally a toolkit to dive into and pull out and go, actually, well, that's rubbish. How are we going to deal with it? Right, okay, so... That's just a little side note that I just want to put first of all. So, um, like I said, I have made some notes and I'm going to... I know that once I start, um, that it will just flow anyway. But um, exactly that, right? You you grow through what you go through. And your mindset right now in your business has never been more important, okay? So, like I said, I want to you guys to come away from tonight with some structure, with some value, some things to take away. Um, but if I'm not honest, it's not going to mean anything. So um, I will just put a little side note. I am not claiming to be any kind of expert. When you're a leader in this business, all you can ever do is share your experiences. Some people it will resonate with, some people it won't. Okay, that is just the truth. Um, I don't claim to know everything. All I can do is share what has worked for me. And I honestly, 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 hand on my heart, truly believe any success that I've had in this industry has come from the personal development side like you've got other leaders in this business that are going to come on and they're going to tell you how to get the PRV which I do obviously get the PRV otherwise I wouldn't be sitting here but for me 
this is something that just comes from my heart and comes from within. And one of the Sensi core values is authenticity. And if I'm not authentic and vulnerable and honest, it's not going to be delivered in the right way. So you have to be authentic at all times, okay? And for me, without personal development, there would be no business. Hey, Owen. Um, because they absolutely go hand in hand. Um, I listen to, um, tonight I'm probably going to reference loads of podcasts, loads of books, loads of other trainings that I've listened to. Um, I listened to a podcast um, a few years ago from um, a guy called Ben Francis, who is the owner of Gymshark, which is a sports brand. And this line like literally jumped out of his, out of his podcast to me and it said, if you grow the person, you will grow the business. Grow the person, you will grow the business. Because... I 100% know, and I see it every day in people in my own team, people in other teams, some of my, my peers, other, other superstar directors, like they are literally a different person from when they started in Sensi. Like they're literally, and if you don't work on growing yourself, then you're only ever going to get to a certain level. What's that thing like? If you always do what you've always done, you're always, you're going to always get what you've always got. Okay. Being the, <laughs> The level of personal growth that you've had so far in your life has got you to where you are. So if you want to go further, then you need to work on yourself. My honest, I wouldn't have got through where we have without my positive mindset and saying I can instead of I can. I have a stubborn streak in me and I hope to be the same intensity. Like, Linda, Linda, you literally have smashed 2,000 PRV last month from your hospital bed. I would say you've got a pretty bulletproof mindset, girl, honestly. And that, that right there is the absolute, that is what I'm talking about, okay? That is what I'm talking about. And for me, without realising it, like when I was growing up, um, my mindset 100% comes from my mum. Um, and it's quite poignant, actually. It's my mum's birthday today. Um, and my mum has got multiple sclerosis. She is an extremely poorly woman. Um, she is completely bed bound now, hasn't always been. Um, she is completely bed bound. She never leaves the house anymore. If some people don't know, there's very few people know this. Um, she struggles to swallow. She is losing the sight in her left eye. Um, that's just a few of the things that MS does to your body. It literally shuts down your body. And growing up, my mum was just used to get tired and we couldn't do certain things. And that that level of how ill she is has only happened in the last couple of years. Um, but you know what? She never, and I mean this, she never moans. She never grumbles. She just gets on with it. She's always grateful for what she can do and what she can see. And even when her legs gave up all those years ago, she used to, she has said to me, like, I can still see my grandchildren. I can still hold my grandchildren. So without realising it, the people that you surround yourself with and the impact of the influence of the people that you surround yourself with is going to have such a definitive impact on your life. And without realising it, clearly that is where my bulletproof mind has come from growing up without even realizing it so this is why as an adult you get to choose you get to choose who you spend your time with you get to choose which um which conversations you engage with you get to choose you get to choose i'm going to talk about that in a minute but you get to choose in your business and in your life every single day who you who you surround yourself with the conversations that you're engaging in and if you if that is not a positive environment you need to think about your circle okay that you know, you must have heard, like, the, the phrase before, if your circle doesn't clap when you win, you haven't got a circle, you've got a cage, right? You need to be mindful of the people that you're surrounding yourself with. If you spend your time with some people and you come away feeling drained of your energy, why are you spending time with them? Like, genuinely. You need to protect your energy with... This is a phrase from Will Smith. You need to protect your light with your life, okay? Your energy is your most most precious commodity and you need to protect that at all times. That's not in my notes. This is where I said about going off on a tangent. Okay, so like I said, your mindset is literally the core of everything. Um, and what you need to understand in this business and in this company is that you are surrounded by greatness. Every single day, 
okay? You are surrounded by phenomenal leaders. You are surrounded by phenomenal consultants, people that pour into you, people that pour into this business. We have an amazing home office. We have an amazing company. And you need to remember every single day that you are surrounded by greatness. You are surrounded by people that are achieving phenomenal things every single day. And if they can do it, you can do it. Okay, that is what you need to remember. You are part of something special. Wherever you are in your journey right now, hey babe, um, wherever you are in your journey right now, you are surrounded by greatness. And the way I look at it is that, and it's quite poignant actually, if you haven't seen the news tab, this is totally not in my notes that I made today, but um, Chloe and Justin Cox, who are superstar directors in the business, it has just been announced about 20 minutes ago that they have reached the circle of excellence, which is the next level above superstar director. Um, that means they have six frontline superstar directors that they have um, sponsored. And I believe they've been in the business about 13 years. So I am sure over the last 13 years, they've seen highs, they've seen lows, they've seen ups, they've seen down, they've had leaders leave, they've, had, they've encountered recessions, they've... Nobody, nobody gets through that amount of time without having highs and lows and ups and downs in their business and their life. But do you know what they did? They didn't quit. They didn't quit. They kept going. And I can tell you now, they've got a bulletproof mindset. So I'm telling you, your mindset is the core of everything you do. There are going to be seasons in your business and seasons in your life. And your mindset is going to be the one thing, the one thing that can be consistent and that you are in control of, okay? We're going to talk about the circle of control a lot. I had it on my wall. It was actually in a box in my garage and I went and found it for the purpose of tonight because you all need to see this, okay? You need to understand, and I'm going to come on to this in a minute, is that whether you realise it or not, I know there's going to be emotions. I know there's going to be hormones because I'm, I'm going to, like I said, I'll talk about that in a minute. But this, ultimately, is what you have to remember at all times. Whether you realise it or not, you are in control of your life every single day. It doesn't mean it's always going to come easy. It doesn't mean some days you're not going to have to dig a little bit harder to find it. But you are always, always in control of your life. You're not in control of external situations. You're not in control of the government. You're not in control of... How can I put this? I was going to say the cost of living crisis. Please don't misinterpret what I'm saying. I'm fully aware there is that in this country there are things going on. However, however, there are still consultants hitting 3,000 PRV. There are still people sponsoring. There are still people buying houses, investing in things. In any economy, there are going to be highs and lows and dips. You just It just means you are going to have to work a little bit harder to find them. They are still out there, and I mean this, right, please know, everything I share, I share with love, and I share with honesty, but it is just the truth. There is a quote that I heard literally years ago, years ago from Jim Rohn, and last week or the week before, um, my lovely Lisa Allwood sent me a podcast and said, you need to listen to this podcast. It was um, Eric Warry and interviewing Jim Rohn, and it was one of the first quotes that came into my brain that, that I heard when I was out walking the dog, and it said, do not wish for it to be easier, wish for you to be better, okay, don't ever wish for things to be easy, why do you want things to be easy, because you don't learn from that, okay, don't wish for things to be easier, wish for you to be better, wish, no, not wish, work for the skills, okay, work for the skills, take the actions, build the habits, I'm going to talk about habits in a minute, but don't wish for it to be easier, wish for you to be better, because when you then have them skills, when you go through these seasons in your business, what you might deem as easier, then happy days because you're going to have the easy stuff and then you're going to have the tools as well and the skill set to go and work your business like you have to when you might feel it's a little bit more challenging. Because it's really, really important that you understand it's the same for everybody. Nobody's in a different world right now. We're all in the same world. But there are people that are taking the action and doing the things and achieving the results. So this is where your mindset comes in. You can look at your situation and you can go, oh, why me? It's really hard right now. Or you can go, do you know what? I'm going to prove you wrong, world. 
I'm going to prove to you that actually I can work my business. I can be consistent. I can ask the question. I can grow in confidence. I can do all those things. Because guess what? You absolutely can. It might, on some days, you might have to dig a bit deeper to find it, but you absolutely can, okay? So if I didn't say these things and share these things with you, because that is what I, you know, the sense of core values are simplicity, authenticity, and generosity, okay? That is authentically what I feel and what I know to be true, okay? If you dig deep and you dig, you you are absolutely capable of doing all the things to make your, to make your business grow. Okay, again, gone off on a massive tangent, but here we are. Okay, um, the next thing I've written down is it is easy to be positive when things are going well, but it is important, so important to be positive when things are not going well. So um, I found this quote today and I shared it on my social media. I'd seen it a while ago and it literally says that positivity is not about slapping a smile on your face, ignoring the reality of a situation and assuming that everything is always awesome, okay? Positivity is about the ability to stare the brutal facts in the face and then focus on what you're going to do about it. It's striving to grow and improve despite how challenging your situation is. It's easy to be positive when things are going well. It's crucial to be positive when things aren't going well. Now, how, like, I don't know about you, but I listen to that and that's like flipping, like, light bulbs going on all over the place, right? And this is what I was talking about at the beginning. I've done loads of mindset trainings in the past. And I've shared strategies and books I've listened, read and podcasts I've listened to and habits that I have. And I have done all those things, but never have I had to dig deeper for them than I have recently. And this is where I said I am not going to turn this into like Laura's life story. But if I don't share with you a little bit of what's been going on, it won't make sense. Okay. So um, I am a positive person. Um naturally i am a positive person i like to always find the positive the positive spin on things i guess like i said from growing up in the environment that i did however however um there is not one human being on this planet that is exempt from things happening in their life sometimes from things going what you could deem as going wrong but actually you know I think it was um, Aunt Middleton, you know, that said like, oh, Wendy, help me out. What's the Aunt Middleton quote about like failure? I can't even think of what it is. But basically, what he, he's got quite a famous quote that says like, people, people expect, like, it's almost like people are surprised when life's hard sometimes. Well, guess what? That is life. And things are going to happen that you never saw coming. Things are going to happen that you don't understand why they're happening while you're going through them. But this is where, like it said on that quote, positive, positivity is the ability to stare the brutal facts in the face and then focus on what you are going to do about it. So, um, I want to like get, not get this out of the way, but just to give some context. So, we, um, Sensi has brought um, so many amazing things into our life. Like we... Um, I don't, I don't really know where to start and, wrap and put this in a short version. But anybody that's watched our journey knows, like, the amazing journey that we've been on with Sensi. Like, we achieved some massive goals, um, achieved some financial goals, um, you know, bought the car that I wanted, you know, all the things, right, all the things. And about a year ago, um, we... So, I really want to, like, make this concise... So our family have lived in Essex for 20 years. We took an opportunity and moved further north up the country and bought this beautiful big house. And it, and it was like the dream house. It was like, you know, the dream house in the country. It was. I don't need to say any more than that, right? Okay. And we were like, brilliant. Okay, lovely. Let's go. With a little bit of reluctance from my children at first, but um, we were like, no, it's good. It's good. We're going. And for the first six months like it was amazing and we were in the honeymoon period and um very quickly um we realized that it wasn't right and i'm not going to go into this bit too much but basically it wasn't right my children weren't happy we weren't happy um for the first time in my life i guess i 
could say I struggled with my mental health. I've, I would never really think that I would say that previously. Um, and the only way I can describe it is that every day I was making myself get up and put a smile on my face. And we'd made this massive life move, moved the kids, got like, you know, the easy thing, the easy thing to do would have been to stay. The easy thing to do would have been, well, Soz, we've made this decision now, we've just got to stay. But the right thing to do is listen to what's in here. And this is where like authenticity comes in. Now, I was so grateful. And this is like I said, when I talk about personal development, one of the biggest things Sensi has given me is living as my true authentic self, just like all of you, you people should be every single day. If you're not living as your true authentic self, you are not living. Okay. And it was a really hard, challenging time. But we, so the easy thing would have been to stay. But the right thing and the bravest thing to do was to make the move to come back. We'd only been there a year and we could have thought about other people's opinions and we could have thought about what, but we were like, no, actually. So anyway, in a nutshell, we sold the house to the second person that viewed it. We broke the chain, came and rented this house down here and so we could get the kids back into school and then the chain fell apart. And that was six months, seven months ago. So for seven months, we have been paying a mortgage on the house up there. We are paying a rent on the house down here. We are paying a council tax. on. Basically, we're running two houses. We have resold the house twice and um, it's fallen through two more times. And it has been the hardest thing I've ever done. And... And, um, but it's also the right thing because my children are happy. They are back in the same schools, in the same forms, with the same friends. Um, we are back. I am happy. Dan's happy. Like, it was 100% the right thing to come back. Even though it was like hard, and difficult, it was the right thing, because our life is back, okay, our life is back, um, and I remember a quote from Jay Alderton, who is a fitness professional, right, and I remember, it's a quote that he said, it was like, do, do always do the easy things in life, and eventually you're going to have a hard life, because, like, so easy, easy things now, hard life later, do the hard things now, eventually you'll have an easy life, and what, what he means by that is if you do not listen to your heart and live a life of true authenticity, okay, you are not living. You are not living. So yes, what I'm trying to say to you is, and this, this, I had to put this caveat to explain the mindset thing next. Yes, it has been really and is continues to be challenging because at the moment, we're living in limbo, like our life is on hold in terms of that, but it, only this little bit, okay, only this little bit over here that needs to be sorted out and will get sorted out eventually. Everything else is right. My kids are happy, they are thriving in school, like it, it was the right thing, okay, so that that's, I'm not going to talk about that anymore, but I just wanted to explain as I go on to the next bit what I'm referencing, okay. So, that's all going on but I also run a business okay we run a business and there have been days there have been days over the last year where I have struggled the only way I can describe it is I and I actually said this to the girls yesterday when I talked about coming and doing this training. I just feel like I'm a bit broken at the moment. That's the only way I can describe it. Like, I'm oh, I'm good, but I'm a little bit broken. I'm not functioning at 100% of my capacity. I'm not... Um, I know that, obviously. Like, there's nobody that would be, right? There's every, It's the first thing I think about in the morning and it's the last thing I think about at night, right? Who Who wouldn't? Like, I'm a human being. So I'm a little bit... Say I was made out of glass. The only way I can describe it is I'm a, my glass is a little bit shattered around the edges at the moment. But 
that won't last forever, okay? But what has got me through, and, and let's, let's come back to the business now, and let's come back to the purpose of this live and why I'm here to help you, is it is all the tools I have learned since being a Sensi consultant that have got me through this period of time. And I'm not saying any of the above that I'm just going to talk about to go like, ooh, look at me. But even through going all that, I've still earned the incentive. I'm going to Orlando in July. Um, I've still earned 2,000 PRV every single month. I've still shown up for my team. I've still gone live. Even, even on the days, I literally, it's the last thing I felt like doing. It is the last thing some days I feel like doing is going on a screen or talking on my social media. But it is my job, okay? And I love it. And when you don't feel like doing stuff, and this is where I'm going to reference fitness, okay? Because any of you know that know me know how much fitness is like part of who I am. But one thing I did discover in the last year is CrossFit, okay? And I started CrossFit when I, we were up there and I've continued it down here right even on the days when you don't feel like doing something that is where discipline comes in and there are so many similarities between the crossfit and my sensi and sensi sensi as a company and my sensi business do i feel like getting up every day at five o'clock and going to the gym monday to friday at six o'clock no not every single day some days i do but some days i don't but do you know why i do it because I know when I walk out of that gym at seven o'clock, any dark thoughts that are in my mind, any challenges that I think I might be facing, anything I'm struggling with, for that 60 minutes, I have switched off and I have focused on something to overcome something. And what that does is it releases serotonin and dopamine into my brain to help me function. And that is how you have to be with your sensory business. I am disciplined with CrossFit because if it, genuinely and i mean this crossfit and sensi have like saved me like there is nothing there is no other way to explain it like <coughs> don't look at your sensi business as a chore that you have to do right when you pour into yourself and your sensi business and you are disciplined even on the days that you don't feel like doing it when you do the things fitness and sensi, when you do the things, that's when you are going to start feel like doing it even more. You are not always going to be motivated to work your sensi business. You are not always going to be motivated to work out. But please do it. Please be disciplined. Because I promise you, when you put in, when you consistently do these things, that's when you're going to start to feel better. So this, you have got to be disciplined. There is no, disciplined and consistent. If you are those two things, you can get through anything. I promise you. I promise you, hand on my heart. If you are those two things, you can get through anything. Okay, sorry. I'm just going to take a little sip of this. Because. Personal development has been an absolute gift. And if I don't share that with you, like, I would be doing everything I've learned in the last seven years a disservice. So you need to find your fire and you need to understand that your actions and your efforts, you are in control of them. And I'm just going to give you a few examples of some habits and, you know, some things that help me every single day in my business. So, um, Sorry, what have I written there? Understand that, the, oh no, I've said about that. Understand there's not one human being on the planet that that doesn't have hard days or doesn't have days that they struggle or doesn't have days when they compare them they compare themselves to other people or doesn't have days where they feel so emotional and they literally can't stop crying, like literally me on Friday. Um, but this is where habits and discipline come in. So every single day, every single day, and I did this before the last year. I've done this for years, years and years and years. I have got journal after journal after journal after journal that is filled in and that is in a box in my garage, right? And um, every single day when I get up, I write down three things, three things that I am grateful for. Because when you live your life from a place of gratitude, it's really hard to 
um, focus on bad stuff. It's really hard. When, you're, when you make your mind focus on things that you're grateful for, it's really hard to focus on negative stuff. So um, it's really, really important. I made some notes about gratitude. Right, okay. Here we go. So a few years ago, I, um, I, wrote, I read a book. I was going to say I wrote a book one day. Um, I read a book called The Magic. And that book that I've read, like literally hundreds of personal development books, but that book changed my life. Okay. Because I used to think I was like a grateful person. I was, you know, I was grateful, but actually when you start practicing gratitude and you start saying these things out loud, it, I, don't, don't ask me how it works, but it does. And when you actually start your day and the first thing you do, like get that, this one, get up, drink I say a pint, maybe half a pint of water, make a coffee and do this thing before I do anything else. I'll let my dog out for a wee. Um, write down three things that you are grateful for, okay? When you live your life from a place of gratitude, you can't, you can't function from a place of anger, resentment, jealousy, bitterness, entitlement, not nice traits, let's be honest. Um, if you're functioning from a place of gratitude, okay? So if you start to um, live your life that way and make it a practice that you do every single day, you will start to look at the world through a different lens, okay? And I mean that honestly. I mean that truly and honestly. Because, like, it'd be really easy for me right now, again, just... And this, this can be applicable to anyone's situation in their life. It'd be really easy to make, for me to go, oh my God, this is like, life's really hard because, you know, we've got loads of financial challenges at the moment and, you know, we'd worked really hard and bought this big, beautiful house and, you know, I've lost my house and da 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 da, da. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But like, whatever happens, right? Whatever happens in your life, right? Our every day... I am opening my eyes and that is a blessing, right? Every day I am opening my eyes. I have breath in my lungs. I have legs that can work. So one of the first things I write down every day is I am grateful for my health. If you have your health, you have everything, everything, okay? If you have your health, you have something that so many people would literally give anything for, okay? And that is why I work so hard on looking after this body that I have because it's the only one I'm going to get. I work hard and I work out. I always say I'm like looking after my old lady bones because one day these bones are not... I work hard so I can... Not so I weigh a certain number. I hate scales. Like this is a... That is a whole other training in itself. Weighing yourself is the most toxic thing for your mental health you can ever do. Throw scales away. That's a top tip from me but um what you wear is literally irrelevant okay I don't work out for how much I wear or what I look like or any of those things I work out to build a healthy heart I work out so like I said dopamine and serotonin is released into my brain to help me function as a better human being I work out so I'm building strong bones so I can lift my shopping bags when I'm an old lady and I so I can run around with my grandkids. And so when my four-year-old, who is autistic, goes into dysregulation when we're out and he has a meltdown, I'm strong enough to pick him up. That's why I work out. Nothing to do with what I wear or what I look like. So actually, throw your scales in the bin. Okay, that's my first tip. Um, but when you live your life from, like I said, from a place of gratitude, you make you look you start to look at your life through a different lens. So if you want to change your mindset, you need to change some of the habits that you're doing every day. And starting to do this, I promise you, will have a definitive impact on your mindset. And then the second thing I do, it takes me like five minutes, okay? Five or ten minutes in the morning. The second thing I do is every single day... Where is it? Oh, it's over there. I, um, in my journal, I write down, I am in charge of my actions and my efforts. Every day I write that down to remind myself that whatever's going on in the day, in my business and in my life, I am in charge, okay? Just like you are in charge, okay? You are in charge of whether you drive your car and just listen to the radio or listen to a, a personal development training. You are in charge of how much water that you drink, which is going to help your mind be clearer, okay? You are in charge of whether you take your whiff bag to work with you and offer it out for somebody to smell. You are in charge of 
how many follow-ups you do when you are sitting in the car waiting to pick your child up from football training or wherever you are in the 10 minute windows that you get in your day. You are in charge of how many times you offer people the opportunity. And then you're also in charge of when you say things like, oh, nothing's happening in my business, nobody's, nobody's buying or nobody's joining. And then, but actually, how many people have you asked? How many people have you asked to parties? How many borrow bags have you offered out? How much follow-up have you done? How many new customers have you tried to find? Because that's, I know this isn't what this training is about, but that's where your business is going to grow. But you are in charge of your actions and your efforts. You're in charge of that, nobody else. So every single day I remind myself of that. So what I'm saying is it doesn't just come to me. I have to remind myself of this every single day, just like everybody does. So they're the things I do when I first wake up. So that's going to help your mindset. Um, and you get to choose your reality. You get to choose the life, where you live your life from, okay? you, get, you Everything is a choice, basically, is what I'm saying. You need to understand that you need to look after you first. You cannot pour from an empty cup, whether it's exercise, whether it's drinking water, whether it's, like I said, working on your personal development, whether it's setting boundaries to the people that are in your life, whether it's protecting your energy, whatever it may be, when it comes to your business, if you are not pouring into you first, you cannot pour into other people, whether that's your family, your team, your customers, whatever it may be. If you don't pour into you first, you cannot pour out. And the wonderful Wendy Howell, who I was chatting to the girls a couple of days ago on our chat, when I'm not going to lie, I was really nervous about doing this. And um, she gave a great analogy and said, when, like, everyone has, like, a battery, right? Everyone has a battery, and when your battery is drained and you're dealing with all these other things and you're spinning all these plates, you generally have a backup battery. And then when that's drained, like, where do you go? Where do you go? So you have to always, always be making sure you're taking the time to recharge your back, backup battery. Because things are going to happen in your business, okay? Things are going to go out of stock. Things are, deliveries are going to get lost and broken. You are going to have times where you might feel like it's a little bit more challenging to get that PRV. And it is, I'm not taking, this is what you need to understand, okay? I am not suggesting that everything's sunshine and rainbows all the time, because it's not. That is not what being positive is about. This is where we're coming back to this quote, right, okay? Positivity is not about slapping a smile on your face and pretending that everything's awesome. Positivity is being able to stare the brutal facts in the face and going, right, this is a bit rubbish or this is a bit more challenging. What am I going to do about it? What am I going to do? Remember, because you're in charge, what actions am I going to do? What am I going to take? I'm going to take full responsibility because this is something else that is going to help your mindset, okay? You need to remember that you are in charge of your business, not your sponsor, not your upline, not your director, not your star director, not your superstar director, not because this person didn't show you this or this person didn't show you. You, you and only you are in charge of your business. And that is really, really important for you to understand. It is nobody else's responsibility to run your business. It is your responsibility. So when you realise that and you take full responsibility for it, that is when your life is going to change and your business is going to change. So remember the quote that we said earlier, don't wish for it to be easier, wish that you were better. Work harder to get the skills to be, to be a better consultant. Okay, um... <laughs> I've talked about gratitude, I've talked about the circle of control, stop looking left and right, don't compare yourself to other people, right, so, how can I put this, there are going to be people in the business, always, always, doesn't matter how long you've been in, doesn't matter, you know, what level you are, what rank you are, there's always going to be people achieving things that maybe you haven't achieved that week or that month, either. don't be comparing yourself to them, okay, you and you are the only you on this planet, right? Oh, oh, let me get, let's think of an example, right? I've never earned annual sales, okay? I've never earned the annual sales award. I've earned annual mentor. I've never earned um, the annual sales award. Do I look at all, the, all my amazing peers and fellow Sensi consultants that are earning annual sales and being like, well, 
they have held annual sales. That's not fair. I haven't earned it because guess what? This happened and this happened and this excuse and that. No, no, don't do that. Be happy for people, like genuinely happy and be inspired by people. It's exactly the same with incentive trip guys, incentive trips. Mm, don't know if I should talk about that. No, there was a scenario. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about that. Anyway, all I'm saying is things are going to happen. No, hang on. It's the same with the incentive, right? Every single person has the same criteria to earn an incentive. And some people are going to earn it and some people are not, okay? It doesn't mean that it's any easier for anybody else. It doesn't mean... All I'm saying is be inspired by other people. I don't want to say the wrong thing and anything to be misinterpreted. So um, be inspired by other people, but don't make excuses or don't... You can be a victim or a victor in your life, okay? You can be a victim to your circumstances or you can become a victor from your circumstances. Do not let your circumstances... Um, define you you there's a quote that i love and it's like rock bottom will teach you things um rock bottom will teach you things that mountain tops never can okay you have to fall down in life sometimes you have to go through hard things honestly i have learned more about myself as a human being as a mum as a wife as a friend as a leader, I've learned more in the last 12 months than I genuinely feel I've learned in my whole life, okay? And if you do not go through hard things in your life, you are never, ever, ever going to learn from them. So if you're in a challenging season in your life, don't look at other people that are not and be jealous or think, you know, why me or whatever be inspired and use that use that as fire like fueling your fire to go actually if they've done it i can do it and understand that this is just a season in your life i feel like i'm going off on a bit of a tangent but okay um right okay let's bring it to this bit because i've been on I, I promise i won't be on longer than an hour so let's talk about habits. So we've established everyone's going to have challenging times in their business. Everyone's going to have hard stuff. Everyone's going to have days where it feels like it's a little bit harder. Everyone's... Hello? Okay, someone's there. Um, everyone um, is going to have hard times in their business, okay? I am not taking away if you are finding it hard to get PRV at the moment, okay? For example... I don't know. If you feel like it's more challenging to get PRV at the moment, I am not diminishing that is how you feel because it might be a little bit more challenging at the moment, but it just means instead of going, well, no one's buying at the moment, go, right, what do I need to do to find new customers? Because there are people that are buying. You just need to go and find them. You need to stop selling to the same customers and go and find new ones. Or stop saying things like, but this is this is a mindset this is the difference between like a growth mindset and a fixed mindset. Stop saying things like, well, nobody's buying the fragrance flowers because they've gone up to £22. Hand on my heart, that has not affected my fragrance flower sales one little bit. Haven't even mentioned it. If people have noticed, well, no, actually, nobody's noticed. So I could go, I could like plant that seed in my brain and be like, oh, well, nobody's going to buy because I'm going to just assume that they're not going to buy. So I'm not going to mention it. Just advertise the flowers that's how much they are or you know there's a flower. what i'm saying is it's all about how you approach situations if you tell yourself no one's going to join you know it's hard it's hard it's hard that's what you're going to start to believe okay what you focus on you feed what you focus on you feed so don't focus on those things focus on actually i can do this and i might just need to try a different route or try a different tact, or work a little bit harder. Because you might have to work a little bit harder, but I promise you the results will be worth it. So 
Brendan Bouchard is an amazing um, business coach, life coach, author, podcaster that I follow. He's got a brilliant app as well called Growth Day. Um, and he talks about habits. He's written a book called High Performance Habits that I absolutely love. Um, and he says, first, when you start to do something, it becomes an intention. Then it becomes a behavior. Then it becomes a habit. Then it becomes a practice. Then it becomes second nature. Then it just becomes a part of who you are. Okay. And that is where you need to get with your sense of business. You need to become so passionate about sharing the opportunity, having joint conversations, offering, offering out people your borrow bag, you know, all the things to do to grow your business. You need to be, you know, embracing every opportunity. So it just becomes part of who you are. If you are not building consistent, disciplined habits, your business is never going to grow, but it all starts up here. Okay. So you are going to be, um, presented with situations in your life and in your business. Um, this is, I'm going to give you now the Coke can analogy that Deb Bowden gave us when we were in Amsterdam um, at SFR. So certain situations are going to happen in your life and in your business and you can either respond, yeah, react or respond to them. And it's the Coke can, Coke can analogy. You can get really angry and you can, you know, rant and rave and this, 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 and since he should do this and they should give us this. No, since he give us loads. We just need to work with the catalogue that we've got. So, um, you, it's the, like the Coke can analogy. You can shake up the Coke can and then, and then you can do it and it's going to explode. But actually, if you just take a moment, 20 minutes and then come back to something, you're going to react in a different way. So what you focus on, you feed. And what you need to remember is life is never happening to you. It is happening for you to help you grow. And please understand when I say, never have I ever had to dig deeper into that analogy than I have recently. And I have felt like an absolute, no, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say I felt like a fraud because I know that I'm a good sensory consultant. I know that I lead my team with love and I know that I show up for my team consistently. But my mind has had days recently where it's tried to trick me into believing otherwise. So if your mind ever tries to trick you into believing otherwise, that you're not successful or that you're not capable or that you can't do hard things, you can. You absolutely can. You just need to be stronger than that and remember that you're in control. So things are going to happen, but you need to remember that you are in control of them, okay? The circle of control at all times. And if you, I'm gonna try and wrap this up now, but if you feel like, I'm gonna put this. Working on your personal development is never done. You're never a finished article, okay? You're never, you never just, oh, like, I'm done. It's like, you know, I guess it, it's like running a marathon, right? I guess you got, you aren't just going to get up one day and be able to run 26.2 miles or, you know, going into CrossFit. I'm not going to be able to just walk in and chuck a, I don't know, a 60 kilo bar over my head. It's going to take consistency and time. And it's going to, that is, that never stops that, that road to personal growth and personal development and working on your mindset is never done. So it doesn't matter where you are now in your personal growth or your personal development journey, you can work on that. You can change it. It is, it lasts forever. Like, because you're going to overcome one mountain and then, I'm sorry to say, something else is going to come up in a few years because that is just life. And what will happen though, the next time you encounter something in your life or in your business, you will have built this skill set to be able to deal with it. Because I sure as hell know that there are certain things that have happened in my life in the last few years that, let's just, well, let's just, let's just talk about my youngest child, right? So he's been diagnosed with autism. We're good. Like, we're good. But it has been, that was like, if that had have happened with my daughter, who's 17, when she was two... I 100% know I was a different person, completely. Hadn't even heard of personal development 17 years ago. So I know the way I used to 
parents, the way I used to approach situations, the way I used to let my anger get the better of me, the way I didn't have any boundaries in my life, I used to let people walk all over me, um, the way that I would explode and overreact to things. Like, I literally don't recognise, and please don't misinterpret what I'm saying, I'm not saying I'm perfect, like, far from it. My husband will vouch for that. But now situations will happen in life and in business and instead of exploding and reacting i will stop and go right okay let's just take a minute i'm in charge of this do i want to respond to this does it deserve my i can never imagine you <laughs> i do occasionally get angry <laughs> but do you know what like what i'm trying to say is like is it worth my energy or is it worth a peaceful life and moving on is what I'm saying. And I remember reading a quote a few years ago and it said, if it costs you your peace, it's too expensive. And now, I just want to say, I just honestly, I am the most simple creature you will ever find. I just want like, I won't talk, I'm not going to talk about houses, but like once we're settled again and I just want a simple life, work my business, be the best mum to my kids, be the best wife, be the best friend, be the best leader, exercise, walk my dog. Like, I'm quite a simple creature. I've totally gone off and lost what I was going to say. But anyway, what I was, yeah, that was it. So, um, but that is personal growth and that is personal development. And it's an ever evolving, 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 evolving library um, that you can learn from. And it's a bit like cleaning your teeth and showering i guess you're not just gonna shower once this is a fraser brooks saying you don't shower once on a monday on a sunday and you're clean for the rest of the week you have to keep showering or you don't just clean your teeth once and then they're just clean forever you have to keep cleaning teeth so just like you have to keep showing up in your business you have to keep working on your personal growth and on your mindset and doing the things over and over and over and over again. There's a saying in our industry that says, find the magic in the mundane. And, but I actually don't find working my sensey business mundane. I find it magical. And like, I want you guys to all experience it like that too. And exactly that, Lindsay McCallum, if you show up, if you show up over and over and over and over and over again, your business will grow, I promise you. And consistency doesn't always mean showing up 100% every day. Sometimes it means showing up 20%. Sometimes it means having one conversation in the whole day. Sometimes it might mean having 20 conversations or doing a party or doing it like what? What I mean is, but if you keep showing up consistently and working on yourself and working on your mindset, I promise you, your business is going to grow. And remember, what can I finish on? Um, what you focus on, you feed. And whether you realise it or not, you are always in control. Nobody's exempt from hard times. Nobody's exempt from challenges. But I promise you, work on your mindset and it will have such a ripple effect and an impact on every other area of your life and of your business and actually i'm going to read you this one more time to finish positivity is not about slapping a smile on your face ignoring the reality of a situation and assuming that everything is always awesome positivity is the ability to stare the brutal facts in the face and then focus on what you are going to do about it it's striving to grow and improve despite how challenging the current situation is it's easy to be positive when things are going well. It's crucial to be positive when things aren't going well. And that is what I'm going to leave you with. Um, I hope this was helpful. I hope you've had something to take away from this. Um, and I just want to say thank you, really, because yesterday and even this morning, I didn't think I was going to be able to do this. I haven't cried. Well, I have a little bit, but like I thought I was going to get more emotional than I did, but I just feel um like I just want to say thank you for um 
not letting me do this, that's the wrong word. But just thank you for being part of Sensei because if you are new and you are listening to this, I want you to understand something more than anything, more than the products, more than the income, more than the trips, more than anything, more than anything else. I promise you, if you lean into this community, if you lean into these people, you can get through anything. Like genuinely, okay? The people are what make this business. And whether that's you as a leader, whether that's you as your own team, whether that is you as your sideline teams, whether that is other leaders in the business, lean into this community because that is what that is where your business because there is so much knowledge and like oh, I can't think of the right word. Sensi spirit, I guess. That is the right word. They are the right words because that's not something you can describe. It's just something that you feel. And if you are ever having, you need, you feel like your mindset needs a bit of baba boom, I guess is the word. Lean into this community because I promise you that is where you will find it. Right. Lots of love. I hope this was helpful. Um, and I'll speak to you soon.